Ad. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what is round one of series 14 of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series. Uh, it is my honour on behalf of Hobie Fishing to welcome you all here for the opening event of 2023. In addition, it must be noted that our naming rights sponsor, Daiwa, joins us once again this year, uh, and our opening round this weekend is to be known as the Daiwa Round. Leading into the event, we had 102 registered anglers competing here this weekend, which is an amazing beginning to the season, and we look forward to continuing to see these types of numbers at least across the first four or five rounds of this year. Our next round finds us heading up to Camden Haven on the mid-north coast of New South Wales, and then back down here to wonderful Victoria and a, a, a fan favourite, uh, which is Bem River in April. There is no way that these events can be run without the support of our amazing sponsorship group. Uh, I mentioned Daiwa just a moment ago, but in addition to the team at Daiwa, uh, we should also thank Lawrence, Powerpole, Atomic, Tackle Tactics, Pro Lure, Strike Pro, and new for 2023 uh, in an amazing show of support here this weekend is the team from Hurricane Lures. So, Naughty, thank you very much for your involvement. Uh, in addition to uh, Manic Tackle and Sims Apparel who will be joining us for the next three years also. Our affiliate sponsors in the Fly program, so Matt Trippett, if you're out there, mate, um, thank you very much for all your support, and we look forward to continuing that engagement with you, and also Andrew Eddinghausen with Escape with ET. This weekend, anglers are competing for not only cash and prizes, but the all-important Angler of the Year points, which culminate to form our Australian team as part of the Hobie Kayak Fishing World Championships. Those Angler of the Year points also assist us in building our Australian Championships, which once again this year will be also returning to Victoria in Mallacoota. Uh, and that will be November of this year. Thank you very much to the anglers, first and foremost, for their participation. Without them, we have no events. Uh, so thank you very much, and I would love to uh, also ask you to thank the entire team at Hobie Fishing. We have Jim Barry, our co-tournament director, Mick Coggins is here on scoring, and of course Brad Sissons, uh, head of our media department, making uh, all of you look sensational out on the water. So with that being said, I think we should be good to go. Rightio, Prikey, Stephen Prike, come on up, mate. Rightio, so you're currently in ninth place, Prikey. Um, it looks like you had 237 yesterday. You need 800 grams to take the lead, and with three fish in the bag, that is a done deal. Yeah. Now, um, very similar? Oh, I'll probably touch lighter than yesterday. Okay, rightio. But similar system, similar process, rinse and repeat. Yeah, exact same, just a lot less bites today. Yeah, okay. Well, certainly, um, Marlowe has put all of us to the test. Yeah, well and truly. All right, so 237 yesterday. Let's see how we're going to start the day today. Yeah. A little better, 244. All right, so currently in the lead, mate, the, uh, the rest of the field is chasing 4.81 kilos. All right, thank you. All right, good on you, mate. Thank you very, very much. All right, our next angler is Nick Mace. Now, Nick, I see that you've got three. Um, looking like you're going to chase down the Monster Mover Award this weekend, is that right? Well, I'll try. Bit of a rough day yesterday. Yeah, definitely a rough day. <laughs> rough day for a few. But you have definitely turned the tables on that one fairly significantly. Yeah, I've got, got three there. So I've Three very good models, mind you. They all look the same, don't they? They really are. So we'll be 950 average. We'll be 2627? Ah, 282. 282 is your number. Rightio. I'm not even going to challenge you on that one, mate. Nah, I'm two, 268. But that is an enormous movement, mate. You are currently in seventh place. Yeah, Thanks, Chris. Good on you, Nick. Always great to have you here, mate. Thank you very much. All right. It is none other than John Chen making his way up. Chenny, uh, three yesterday, uh, a one today. And needless to say that I am no longer on your Christmas card list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, I would have uh, liked a few more hours in the lake. Yeah, but... look, it's... Um, it's, it's a hard game, I guess, at this end of the spectrum, and, and we never want to take that away from anglers, of course, but it is that process that we have to go through, and I know that you certainly understand that as well. Yeah, mate, a couple more of those would have made a big difference, I'm sure. This is about our average. We are 8.20 average yesterday, 8.50 for you here right now. You are in second still, and uh, let's see how yeah. we can keep you in that top ten. Well done, Chenny. Corey, come on through, mate. Let's say... Uh, a hard weekend at the office, buddy. I, um, my results are working in exactly the same way as your results. So um, if I could actually have had probably some of the history that you've had with angling, I'd be happier. 
Yes, yes. So did you decide to go back down into that little creek again today? No. Nah. No, just left it alone? Yeah, I, I should have left it alone yesterday, but I don't know. Didn't have enough time on up there and pre-fish. Got a yep. couple in there early, straight yep. away. Yep. And gave me a false sense that it was a good place to fish. <laughs> Fishing is never the same two days in a row, right? No, that's it. All right, mate, one for you today. And that's that average that we're talking about, spot on, 820 grams. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Cheers, Corey. All right, we have one of the crew from Team Hurricane, Troy Parsons. So one fish yesterday, which was quite a handy uh, fish there at 960 grams. Now, we were walking down from the caravan park, making our way over to dinner last night, and you've just looked out and you've gone, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Who put that there? Yeah. And it's obviously over into the slips. Yep. Gonna have a look over there, which is apparently right up your alley for, for fishing stock. Yeah. Your yeah. first trip to Marlow? Yes, mate, never been in. And first trip to Marlow, in particular in a kayak. Yeah, so, yeah. mate, so, um, you've got two there. Very, very handy. Let's see if we can get you over that one and a half. One, six, seven, one, six, eight, in fact. Nice. All right, mate. So, um, you now you're off to do a couple of ABT events. Yeah, that I am. Looking to come lucky. Got a good week. Started off alright. Good luck. Thank you. Let me take that one. Thanks. You're on your way. Good on you, Troy. All right, another angler forward is Greg Krebitz. Now, uh, your first trip to Marlow as well, Greg. Yeah, mate. Yep. Yeah, first trip. It's a. Um, I think I've been down maybe four times so far, and. No one time has ever been the same, but it has always been a challenging location. Yeah, it's pretty um, hard. It's definitely going to really put a big smile on your face with some of the quality of the fish. Um, and Lindsay Pryke can certainly attest to that yesterday with that one fish over one and a half kilos. For you today, my friends, 740 grams. Yep. All right, bloke, we uh, hope to see you at some more rounds. All right. Thank you. Good on you. All right, Warren Allen. Mate, um, I think I only just said to you this morning, I said, where were you yesterday, Was? But you're here today, buddy. Um, the grind, the grind, the grind. Thank you. And uh, it is the tale of woes for a few anglers this weekend. So I think I was obviously zero yesterday. I also got one today. Yeah. I think you might have me, though. Yeah, well, I, got, I found the fish, but I just couldn't get them to stay on. I had 810. You have 840. <laughs> Not that it means much in the scale of things, mate, but uh, well done, buddy. Thank you. All right, good on you, was Always a very, very good weekend with you, mate. All right, Nathan Dowling. Come on up, mate. Now, where were we with you yesterday? Nowhere. Nowhere. I'm just waiting to see that come up. Um, but you won today? Yeah, won today. We're nuts over. Now, did you end up going up the back or back down the front? Where did you end up today? Nah, pretty much straight across. Yep, up Not against the... Uh, yep. Sorry, up on the edge there. Yep, just hitting the rock wall up and back and up it's and back. It's another one of those 830, 840-gram fish that just seemed to be that average. There it is, 860. I'll do, thank well you. Well done, mate. So, are we going to see you up at Camden Haven? No, no. No? Where maybe, are we going to see you next? Uh, maybe, Ben. I'm not sure yet. All right. Fingers crossed we see you there, mate. Thank you very, very much for being here this weekend. Dennis Villamore. Come on up, buddy. Mate, so uh, a cracking result yesterday. You had three fish at 2.75 kilos. You do have two today. I need another fish. You need another fish. Yeah, well, now, enough time and... I don't think you said that you had too many other opportunities. So it wasn't anything that was missed. We just didn't find that final fish. Yeah, I just stayed in one area. Yep. Just like the slips. Was it fairly productive though? I think were you somewhere there near Dale Baxter as well? I think he might have been floating around in a yeah, similar area. Yeah, so yeah. All right, Dennis, you need 2.07 kilos to take the lead, but you're still in fifth as we stand. Let's have a look and see what this does for the overall placings. There's 1.4 kilos. It's bumped you up into second. We've still got a few anglers to come, but I'd Sorry. like to think you're well inside the top ten, mate. Thank well you. done. All right, next to the table. Come on up. Ben Hanscom. Now, mate, sir, we didn't catch you yesterday, but whatever you've gone away overnight and done has resulted in a full bag. Yeah, it worked. It was good not to donut again. It's, um, and that's a handy bag. It's not too bad. Was, did you completely move in the system from what you did yesterday? Uh, not really. No? I fished where I found fish in pre-fish. Yeah, okay. Couldn't catch them yesterday, so. Yeah, right. And what did the damage, what, what caught these guys? Just seamen grub. Seamen grubs? Can't go too far wrong. If it works, don't change it. I'm going 2-6. Close, I yep. think. 
Let's have a look. Better still, mate. Well done. 2.77 kilos inside the top 10 in sixth. Not a bad way to do it, mate. Thank Good you. on you. That's a, uh, now, we do also have what we call a Monster Mover Award. And uh, as part of that Monster Mover Award, it's the biggest differential between day one and day two. So for Ben there, that's a, an enormous jump of over 2.77 kilos. So uh, next up, we'll see here momentarily. That's all right. We just might have just might have frozen, Jimbo. That's all. So Ben is up next. Yep. All right. Come on up, Ben. So Ben, one fish yesterday, and another today. But this is a considerably better fish than what you weighed in yesterday. This one might almost be twice the size of the one that you Probably. got yesterday. <laughs> it's, um, you didn't change too much, or you? Uh, I went down the front today. Just yep. Changed it up, and yeah, just went. How many salmon? How many tailor? A uh, few to start with, and then kept going further up. So <laughs> you had to go try and get away from them. Yeah. All right, Ben. Let's have a look and see how close to that kilo mark we can find you, mate. Just over, mate. Well done. One point zero six. All right. We uh, hope to see you at the next one. Good on you, buddy. Thank you very much. All right. We are certainly moving through them here. Harry Young, come on up, mate. Now, Harry, uh, I do believe, as I think we discussed yesterday, that you are a local angler. Um, you spend a bit of time around this way with uh, Dave Shanahan. Yeah. And um, so if I told you you had 2.59 kilos to take the lead, you're not there? You're a couple of kilos there for a couple of fish, though. Yeah. Did you have a chance for one more? No. No, it was just the two fish, yeah, that was it. Once, that was it. Man. All right, you're certainly going to shake up the table, though. Let's have a look and see where this lands. Have you got a number on it? No. 2.2? Yeah, maybe. 2.28 kilos for two fish. See that? Second place. All right, let's see if we can keep him there. Hey, a little bit of uh, cheering on for the local lad. Now, do you think you've got Dave or has Dave got you? Dunno. No, he's not interested. Ryan Honeybrook, come on through, mate. But, um, two yesterday at 173. One today. Now, um, fishing is just never the same. Not the same. Two days in a row, and it's definitely not the same two days in a row at Marlow. Pretty happy with it. Yeah. Right. What are you going to call him? Oh, I only said one, two. Yeah? One, yeah. two? Yeah. All right, we're chasing one, five, two for Big Brim just to, to keep everybody in the mix. But any fish that's over that kilo mark is a great fish on the day. One, three, four. I wouldn't have quite called him there, but he's no, there. Yeah. Mate, um, go and get a photo of that guy. That one uh, definitely needs to go up on the photo frame. Well done. All right, so with a few more anglers still at the tub, an angler that we did not see yesterday, unfortunately. Jacko, two fish today. And, um, mate, without, uh, I guess, throwing too much fuel on the fire, your back was against the wall going into today's session. Yeah, I couldn't let the old man beat me today. <laughs> I told him that. I said, you're not, you're not winning this weekend. No, he's, um, he was fairly uh, oh, enthusiastic he yesterday, was, wasn't, wasn't he? he? <laughs> what was it? Zeros? Where is he? Where are you, Gordy? Zero. All right, I think Gordy might have come up with a uh, big donut himself today. For you, Jack, this weekend, two fish today, one, four, four. Thank you. And, uh, mate, I believe that we are definitely seeing you at Camden Haven and uh, fairly confident up there. So uh, good luck to you, mate. All right, so Stephen Pryke is still our leader at 4.81 kilos. Harry Young is in at 4.51. Dennis Villamore rounds out the top three for 4.15. John Chen at 347 in fourth place, and Tony Petty, who is yet to weigh in, is currently in fifth, and he was our day one leader. Next to the bump tub, uh, the weigh table, I should say, is Mitch McMaster. Oh, he's not far away either. Look at Tony down there. The Cheshire Cat grin. <laughs> Rightio, Mitch. One today. We didn't see you yesterday, buddy. Um, this is going to be really close to the kilo fish, isn't it? I hope so. He might be a little better. Let's have a look for you, champion. Can we get you to the kilo? Just 102. <laughs> Just find three more of his mates next time you're here. Absolutely. All right, good on you, Mitch. Thank you very much. 
All right, one of the team hurricane anglers uh, is up next, Simon Morley. Now, mate, um, the last time we were here, you uh, you did take this event out, and it was it, it kind of I'd missed the part where you actually had two fish on day one, you got the three on day two, and but you took out the event with a five fish bag. Yeah, doesn't happen very often. No, it, it's it's <laughs> it, it's but... not that common. And is that the one that was the second fish? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> I can uh, I can understand your expression now. Well done. Yeah. All right. Two for yesterday. Two today. There's another couple of kilos here. I'd like to think. There it is. Yeah. Two point one one. A big shift there. You're inside the top five in fourth at well, present. Yeah. Do you want to weigh that guy just for numbers? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Just to see where he's at. Um, in actual fact, you know what I've done? I took the bump tub bag. So if you can momentarily hold, I don't know. I'll you got in there? I'll get the bag. Just hanging on the feet. Yeah. It should be just over the front there. Thanks, boys. That was completely my doing on that one. <laughs> All right, he is a lovely, lovely fish. All right, moving on to that one. We're definitely weighing the right one. Has he got 1.2 on him? I don't know. Maybe. He's going to go close. High one, ones or one, two. A little better again. One, two, four. Um, beautiful, beautiful example of uh, what Marlow can produce. All right, go and get a couple of photos, buddy. Good to have you down here and definitely see you up at Camden Haven. Right, our day one leader is next to weigh in. So, Tony Petty, yesterday you had three fish at 3.16 kilos. Can the roles be reversed to go three and two to take a win? Well, let's hope so. As opposed to Simon's two and three. Yeah, that's it. Righty-o. You need one six six to take the lead. Mm -hmm. You've got two one two two. Oh, maybe. Maybe a bit better. Just over two. All right, let's have a look, ladies and gents. Get up. Two point zero three. Yeah. You're at five one nine over and above uh, Prikey at four eight one. You get. Just go and take a seat, chill, and we'll see where this lands. Is the, is the smile still there? Yeah, it's still there. All right, Hedgy, let's see if you can uh, give that uh, smile a bit of nerves. Three for Hedgy yesterday was 2.75 kilos. He was well and truly in the hunt. There's been a bunch of anglers that have come through before you now. That's really nice. It is, isn't it? <laughs> was that fish number one or fish number two? That was, that was fish number two. I think the whole lake heard me catch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry that I wasn't there for it now. Um, I won't say that you've been known for some enthusiastic language on the water. I have, yeah, it goes both ways. It does, it yeah. does. The I'm wins and the losses. It, look, <laughs> passion all the way. What do you reckon you got? Is there 2.4 kilos here? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't have a scales on the kayak. All right, let's have a look. He needs 2.45 to take the lead. Oh. And there's exactly 2.4 kilos. <laughs> you made him nervous. Yeah. All right, but he's still smiling. Do you want to see the weight of that big guy? I love the weight. All right, mate, let's have a look at him. He might not get you to Big Brim. Big Brim, we are chasing 1.52 kilos. But I reckon that guy's got to be nudging 1.4. Oh, I'm going 1.3 on the weights that just came up. Oh, okay, I'll trust you. I think you might be right, actually. The longer I hang on to that. Oh, 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 oh stand still. You tied. <laughs> One, five, two. Um, mate, you've had a great weekend here at Marlow. You just got to make sure you let all of those other anglers know that have done it tough what they need to do next time they're here. Uh, well, Andrew D's Brim Project. Yes. Uh, episode four. There you go, do it again. Uh, Andrew D's Brim Project, uh, episode four. Told the exact technique I used all weekend. There you go. You heard it here first. Our uh, longest reigning world champ. Uh, in Deethi, so uh, we'll see, uh, we'll all be listening to that before we hear next. Ruth, come on up. Jeez, there's a lot going on then. 519 for Tony, 515 for Hedgie. Now, Ruth, you are leading our ladies division, or women's division. Thank you. Now, you had 189 yesterday for two, hmm. and that's almost a rinse and repeat. I reckon it is. I reckon it is. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I was going to say, you might have an improvement the, the, there. Anytime that one's a bigger fish. improve from day one to day two, you know, happy, you know that you're sort of dialing something I'm in the system. I'm happy if I crack the two, but I won't. Come on now. Ooh, it's only one, just nine, over. One. <laughs>
<laughs> you had the numbers right. Almost now, identical. overall, Ruth, you yeah. are currently in six inside the top ten. Ooh, that's and exciting. I think some of the ladies are going to have a hard time chasing you down. <laughs> anyway, All right. That's Go and grab some photos of that one. Well done. Great result, Ruth. I know that you stood up here this morning and went, oh, look, I'm going. I was yesterday. Well done. All right, Crafty, come on up, mate. Big trip for the South Australians. Chris is part of, uh, I think, a five or six angler contingent that have made their way over. And um, I would really hope to see some of our East Coast anglers making their way across for the SA events in what is probably only four weeks' time. I'm pretty sure there's already a few registered from Victoria. So yeah, fantastic. Now, we just need to stir up some of the New South Welshmen to also get their backsides over there for that one as well. Two for you today, bud. Let's see if we can find the kilo. There it is. Yes. 106. <laughs> Boom. Cheers, mate. Well done, mate. Thank Always you. great to see you. Thanks, Crafty. All right, Benny Gibbs, another from uh, South Australia. Mate, um, one yesterday, which was an absolutely stonking fish at 1.38 kilos. One today as well. Now, I think uh, as you made it up into the lake, I think we were there at about a similar time. Yeah, we were, um, yeah. Did you kind of move from that spot and sort of poke around to find I poke, this guy? Oh, yeah, I poked around. Yep. Um, yeah, stayed on the windward side of everyone. Yep. Yeah. Just see if you get sort of fine, fine, yeah, fine. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, there's definitely some fish that have come out of there. This is still going to nudge a kilo, maybe in the nines. No, there you go, 104. Beautiful. Just happy to find that. a few more with them. All right, mate. Easy. Great Thank to you. see you. Looking forward to uh, Ben's obviously uh, heavily involved in the uh, SA events as well. So if there's anybody that needs any information regarding accommodation, transport, uh, or anything to do with their events, um, please make sure you get hold of Benny. Jimmy Kilpatrick, mate. Um, 3.07 kilos yesterday. Yep. Um, it has been a bit of a weekend for, for Team HWS. Yeah, we've all been... Uh listening to Hedgie's wise words and, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, he's put us all onto some good fish this weekend. Very good. Now, you need 2-1-3 to take the lead. Don't think so. I think you're at the kind of one eight one nine mark. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd probably be happy with that. <laughs> all right, let's have a look, buddy. One seven five. you've moved from ninth to third. Very good. Mate, um, great results, and uh, let's see if we can keep you in that top three. Thank you. Good on you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. There's still a few anglers at the tub yet to weigh in. The next up is Danny Jobson. Consistent, mate. Two and two. Much of a change from yesterday to today? Pretty much exactly the same. Yep. Yeah. And at 168 yesterday, this is... Very similar. Very, very similar yeah. again. <laughs> All right, mate. I think you might have a little more. I'm hoping that you do. There you very, go. very similar. 172, mate. Well done. Happy with that. But that number there is still pretty handy. That actually puts you smack in 10th place. Nice. Okay, not a bad way to return to be inside the top 10. Good to see you, Danny. You got the family down there? Hey, very good. Joel Crosby. Mate, hey, Joel. Three fish yesterday for 239. You've got another three today. I do, yes. And um, I know that you were really, really keen to give Jack Gammy a, um, a bit of a surprise if he had to come up with another donut. But um, I maybe missed, next time. I actually missed his way and I was... I'm, 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 you were busy. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed about that. All right. Three yesterday at 239. Pretty similar bag. You need 281 to take the lead. No, I think you're happen. somewhere around 23. You're in 18th. This is definitely going to push you inside the top 10. 237, almost identical to yesterday, inside the top five at present. Nice. Thank you, sir. Well done, bloke. Great to see you. Always a good time. Rightio. Benny, come on up, mate. Ben Harrison, another one of the anglers making the enormous trek across. I keep saying this enormous trek, but I have to keep realising that we're actually at Marlow and not somewhere up on the mid-north coast of New South Wales, which is 15 and 16 hours for you yeah, guys to get to. Long, <laughs> much longer trip. But... Mate, um, so you pinned your first fish yesterday on the first cast. Yep. What about this guy? Uh, just after I, you left me, yep. I went up to a bank. Clocked. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, best luck you've had is, is leaving me behind. There you go, 760 grams. And mate, we always look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for your commitment. No worries. It's really great to see you guys making that big effort. All right, uh, Sam Dewing, come on up, buddy. Three yesterday, Sam, at 181. We have uh, you in 24th place just at present. Mate, um, 
Did you try for the rinse and repeat? It was basically trying to do what happened yesterday? Yeah, same again. Yeah. Didn't work. No. <laughs> I got one, so that's all right. It's a funny old game, fishing. All right, buddy. One for you. That guy is going to weigh in at what is otherwise our average fish here this weekend at 800 yeah. grams. Happy with that. All right, mate. So will we see you at another round? Yeah, I'll be at the next one. The next one, Camden I'll Haven? Fantastic, mate. Look forward to it. All right, Gary Hansen. Mate, um, we could be a little bit cheeky and say that you need to stop taking your uh, advice from that other bloke you're staying with. It's all his fault, isn't it, really? Yep. <laughs> Everything's his fault. We can't take any responsibility for don't, this ourselves. Don't go up the lake. There's no fish up there. Ah, uh, no, there were fish in the lake. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice silver model, though. He was Dead out in front. front. Yep, radio. One for you, guys. I think you might be pretty close to the nines. Nine seventy. Very good, mate. All right. Um, we'll see you soon enough. Yep. Very good. Thanks, guys. All right, Josh Richards, mate. Um, as I said yesterday, we hadn't seen you for a little while. We are very, very pleased to have you back. 2.52 um, kilos yesterday was a great way to start. Yeah. It's two today. Two. It's a bit of a grind out there. Yeah, we're grind. Yep. I like my uh, good fit, but oh well. Oh. Yeah, pulled a hook. So. Uh, the tale of woe for every fisherman, my yep. friend. All right, but these two are going to see you with 1.59 kilos. And, mate, to return back inside the top ten in eighth would be a very, very handy way to start. Well done, mate. A great angler there. Nice work. All right. Uh, Dave Shanahan. No, that's it. No, you're right. Come on up. Thanks, Jimbo. I think I might have jumped the gun on you there, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> mate, um, are you going to let that, uh, that young local fella... Yeah, is he going to take you up? me? Yeah. Yep. Was there a wager on that internally, or is it just all good fun? No, just good fun. All good fun. Well, they all mightn't right. get a kayak next time. Say again? I mightn't lend him the kayak next time. No, I think he's going to have to fend for himself, right? <laughs> all right, Dave, one for you today, mate. Coming in at 760 grams, and inside the top 15, mate, you are in 14th overall. Excellent. Well done. Always great to see you. Thanks, Dave. All right, I think we have the birthday boy, in fact. DB, Dale Baxter, come on up, buddy. Now, we won't talk about age. So apparently, it's not the thing to do. We didn't see you yesterday. You were saving all of it up for your birthday. I was too busy helping you guys. <laughs> not the first time, and it won't be the last. I'm sure it won't. <laughs> um, what changed about what happened between yesterday and today? Um, for me, I changed techniques that I'm more comfortable with and I yep. just stuck to that process and yep. really I, I ended up just working one particular bank and I'd go up um, yep. and I'd sort of pick one fish up and then come back, do it again. And is, this, another... is this a bait junkie? No. No? No, no I ended up um, throwing uh, cranker crabs yep. on the rock walls. I noticed yesterday when I was working that yep. area that um, there was a lot of crabs on the side. Yep. So I had And a with that, that water level maybe being up a little bit higher today? Yeah, so I sort of modified the colour of my crabs to match those and seemed to work. You've got to match the hatch. You know, it's, it's a story that's been told for eons and eons and eons. You've done well, mate. Happy Thanks. birthday. Thank you so much for being here. Good on you, Dale. All right. Following on is none other than Alan Dancing Man Lister. I knew that I'd get you at some point, Al. We've, uh, we've continued this on from last year. There's been a... Uh, there's almost a... Uh, what would you say? There's a, a survey out that says that you can dance, and we all believe that you can. I will dance again one day. Later this year. Okay? <laughs> Somewhere. All right, mate. Two yesterday at 153, two today. They are coming in at 147, and uh, that puts you in 15th overall. Mate, great to have you here. Hope to see you up at Camden Haven. Cheers, Chris. I'll see Good you there. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Now, Jimbo, I think that, in fact, may be it. So before we go through doing too much of an announcement as such, we'll wrap up some of our numbers. Uh, just give us a few moments, we'll get our prize table together and we'll be back with our presentation in five or six minutes.
Uh, Dale Baxter, if you can hear me, mate, would you mind just making your way over to the bump tub, please? Yeah. Report to the principal's office. <laughs> yeah. It is almost like reporting to the principal's office. All right, DB, if you're around, mates, uh, can I get you back over this way, please? Thank you. Yeah. Unbelievable, right? All right, Jimbo, how are we looking there, mate? All right, so we'll go back on divisions. That's perfect. Yep, unreal. All right, we'll just let this vehicle make their way through. Uh, so youth is going to be number one. So you can get started with that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back and thank you for your patience. Um, as we had noted at the beginning of the broadcast, uh, Daiwa is the naming rights sponsor for the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series uh, and their involvement with us now has effectively been across the last 10 years or more. Um, as part of that, we've got Dale Baxter here with us this weekend. Dale, you've, how many years have you spent, I guess, in that sort of product development and, I guess, social media sort of space with the team at Daiwa? Yeah, probably, I think it was 
either 2014 or 2015, I got in, first got involved with Daiwa. Um, Brad was there at the time and yep. got me involved. And it was more from a, a social media point of view, yeah. obviously. You know, my results don't stand up at the front of the table. But generally, it's not always about that. No, you're right. You know, I've got a real passion for photography and pretty yep. much product photography and try and do things a little bit different. So no, um, that sort of led into the association yep. there. And then that develops into different things. And from there, you know, then you get to be able to have a little bit of input into some of the product and yeah. that's, that's really important I think especially for our series. No you're absolutely right mate and I'm sure that um, that affiliation will continue for many 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 years yet. Um, I look for I mean I always like your your little Thursday segment yep. you know it, it's a it's a really I'm, I'm just stoked you actually get out kind of every week I'm not too sure that every angler gets that opportunity but mate it's uh, it's always a hoot to see where you're at and what you're doing yeah look that that's one of the things I've been doing that probably since around about 2009 I think yep. and um, I don't get the opportunity to come away on weekends because I work Saturdays yep. um, so really getting to tournaments is my weekends away Got you. Uh, and fishing these arenas I, I yep. rarely fish them except for on a comp, so yep. it always makes it tough coming back. So, um, yeah, you know, when the kids were at school, I was able to get out first thing in the morning, get off the water and pick yep. them up from school, and it worked. Yeah, job done, hey? Uh, it's, uh, it's working well, mate. We really appreciate you spending a bit of time with us to go through this uh, presentation. No uh, so first up is part of our youth division. So we do run a, a youth, women's, masters, and then the open division. So for the Marlow event here this weekend, the winner of our youth division is Tyler Bruce. Tyra, if you happen to be around, buddy, give him a round of applause. It's, uh, it's always great to see such a broad-ranging group of people attending these events. Uh, I guess that, that youth division and then leading all the way through to the Masters. Um, well done, buddy. It's, um, what can you tell us about the fish this weekend, mate? It's, um, it's a pretty difficult arena. Um, whereabouts in New South Wales are you from? Uh, Bega. Bega, rightio. Yeah. So not too bad to get down this way. Yeah. Um, have you fished Marlow previously? No. No. Um, you'll be back, no doubt. I mean, it's one of those places that you, you know, you've got to kind of hone those skills to kind of make it worthwhile. Where's your local fishery? Oh, uh, Bega River. Be Bega River. Yeah. Yep. Rightio, mate. And uh, what are the chances of us seeing you over the next part of the series? Are you going to be around yeah, with us? Doing Ben. Yep. Basically. Yeah, so Marlow and Ben, anything you can get close yeah, to home. That's it. Well done, buddy. Well, hopefully that's, uh, there's a few goodies in that prize bag, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in a couple of months at Ben. Well done. Good on you. Nice work, mate. All right. Now, a very, very impressive result in our women's division uh, is going to go to none other than Ruth Beebe. Come on up, Ruth. It's uh, 1.81 kilo, sorry, 189 on day one, 191 on day two for a combined weight at 3.8 kilos. Yeah. Mate, um, we were having a quick chat there yesterday afternoon and I was like, oh, geez, I'm a bit tender. I'm not too I sure know. that I'm going to make it out, but you grounded out, you made it back in. Yeah, no, thanks, Hilly. He's probably gone home. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether he's, uh, <laughs> there might have been some word of, words of encouragement yeah, to go, get yeah. out there, no, Ruth. I felt good this morning, so yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, I'm it's, not going to miss out and mate, a lot better today. We love yeah. seeing you at each of the rounds. Are you going to have the ability to get up to Camden Haven? Not that one. I'll do yep. them, but yep. yeah. Fantastic, yeah. mate. Yeah. Probably um, Queensland and maybe see what else. You'd be kind of silly not to, right? Yeah, there's uh, there's plenty on offer there, but look, great result. Yeah, 3.8 kilos overall. Well cool. done. Great. Thank Thanks, you very Ruth. Much. That's awesome. We might yet see you back up here. Very well done. Now, our Masters Division is a uh, semi local fellow, Dave Shanahan. You kicking around back there somewhere, Dave? There he is. Mates, uh, 225 yesterday and yeah, 760 grams today, 301 overall. Um, <laughs> no stranger to the stage. Mates, um, where has the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series taken you across the last 10 years? Uh, probably the two big events is the, the Worlds in Sweden. Yep. Amal, that was fantastic. Uh, that was last year. And China back in 2019 before that. Yeah. It's an amazing platform that does give opportunity to really sort of spread your wings and explore. You've made some great friends through that process. Yep. Um, and, and I guess a lot of them are here, actually. We've got a really, really strong angling field here in Australia. So yep. um, are we going to have the chance to see you at BEM? Uh, BEM, I'll, I'm going to head up to Camden Haven as well. So I'll yep. try to do a few of the series this year. It's awesome, probably the, you know, the benefit of doing multiple series. You get a good chance. You can represent Australia. Yep. There's only sports that, you know, at my age, you can do that. And it's, yep. it's great to do it. No, get out there and keep doing it, mate. Well done. Congratulations, Dave. Good on you, mate. One of the nicest guys in our fleet. All right, so next we have our Monster Mover. 
We'll go over there. And Rod? Um, now, a monster mover is the biggest differential between your day one result and the day two result. So this weekend's winner is Ben Hanscom. Ben, are you there, buddy? Mate, a huge move. Uh, we didn't see you yesterday, but then you've come in with a super impressive bag at 2.77 kilos today. Had that bag have been around yesterday, that would have seen you inside the top five of the event. So, um, mate, congratulations. Well done. Mate, uh, where do we see you hailing from, mate? I, uh, we've just scrolled away there. We've got to New South Wales, Victorian? Yeah, same as Tyler from Bega. Ah, uh, rightio. Okay. Yep. Um, you spend a bit of time fishing with Tyler? Yeah. Yep, around that local region as well? Yeah, come down in Victoria a little bit. Yep. Like Getting into chasing a few bass as well? Try to, as yep. much as you can, yeah. Yeah, no, any chance is an opportunity, mate. There's a great bag in there on behalf of Daiwa. There is a sensational rod. One of the in feet rage from Daiwa. Um, so I'm sure you're going to put that to some sensational use. Absolutely. Thank All right, you. mate, well done. Cheers. Congratulations. Great result. 2.77 kilos. A, uh, a very, very handy way to, uh, to finish off the weekend. We'll go uh, Big Brim. I don't think we had one there, so we'll run with that one. Now, Big Brim this weekend, you wouldn't believe it to be able to actually get a tie. And a very, very impressive fish nonetheless. Um, yeah, just tear it in half tail, it'll be perfect. Um, Dave Hedge, Lindsay Pryke, come on up guys, please. We will find a way to uh, kind of work this out. Yeah, have you got that second one? Awesome, Brad, thank you. In actual fact, on behalf of the guys at Manic Tackle and Sims, we do actually have another prize up here that we'll be able to grab for you to, uh, to impart. Now, I'd love to hear, guys, what... Um, what was it that uh, that took your guy, Hedgie? Like, you were you were in the lake, yep. and what was the lure that did the damage? What was the technique? What uh, what can the guys and girls at home take away from that success from you? Uh, Lucky craft tango. Um, okay, that, radio. Yeah, like a lot of people are doing up there, bashing in the bottom. Yep. Um, sort of, it's a very aggressive retrieve. Yep. Uh, and then big long pauses, and then more aggressive. Yeah, and on the pause. Generally? Um, yeah, sometimes. They, they sort of chase it. If, you, if they just missed it, sometimes they chase it down. Chase it and again. Smash it. Yeah. Awesome, mate. Well, look, 152 is nothing to sneeze at. Lindsay, what, how did you get your guy? Uh, just on a bait chunky grub. Okay. Yes. So two completely different techniques. Yes. Um, you know, same weight fish. So uh, I'm glad that we had that extra bag here. Now, you obviously in the lake, you were snowy? Up the snow, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, fish in the walls. And one bashing it into the mud in the lake. Yep. So, mate, great results, guys. You know, a one and a half kilo fish is nothing to sneeze at in any man's language. We all look to achieve that. So, well done. Good on you, guys. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> all right. It looks like we are now into the top ten. Uh, actually, with you. Yes. All right. So, uh, rounding out tenth place with two fish on day one at one six three. Two fish today at two one one. Our last winner, in fact, here in 2019, Simon Morley. Come on up, bud. So, uh, mate, so no stranger to the stage, um, and much like Dave was saying, the, uh, the opportunities that have been available through the kayak series here on behalf of Hobie, um, it's taken you all over the world and, uh, and almost all over Australia while you've been at it too. Yeah, it's um, it's a pretty good uh, pastime, I think. Yeah. It's got some um, good opportunities. You just, yep. I don't know, get lucky sometimes, and sometimes you don't. A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's clearly one very significant person that you need to thank for all your time away. Yeah, the boss. That's she right. Al <laughs> she's always holding down the fort. Thanks, Britt. <laughs> I'm glad we got that in, because yeah. I'm pretty sure that I'd be in trouble as well if we didn't. So, mate, 10th place, good AOY yeah, points. A couple of bucks, a prize pack. Well done, yeah, buddy. Thanks, Good on you. Thanks, thanks Simon. Great Thank work. You. All right. Rounding ahead, we have ninth place overall. 189 day one, 191 day two is Ruth Beebe. Come on up, Ruth. <laughs> Mate, uh, 
top ten start to the year. That's uh, that's definitely got to uh, encourage you moving forward for the for the rest of this year. Oh, it's money. <laughs> it is money. It doesn't First time. it doesn't often come back the other way in fishing. No, There's no, a lot of giving. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, what sort of what got those fish for you this weekend? Yeah, it's all the hurricane gear. I got okay. it used a um, the hurricane sprat seventy five. Sprats. Yep. Yeah, and that was yesterday and the hard body. I think it's called a fat thirty seven. Yeah. Yep. Well, I think Morley won that. Um, so yeah, won probably got got his ago. on that last. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 2019 when we yeah, were here last, so, so I threw that on. First it's time. nice to be able to get that sort of local gear, you uh -huh. know, for a local region. Yeah. So um, yeah. look, Naughty does a great job, and we're yeah, super stoked to have him as part of the Works series. Well. All mm -hmm. right, good okay, on you, Ruth. Thank you. Congratulations. Much. Safe travels on your way home. Well done. Nice work. Now returning to the series after a uh, a couple of years hiatus. Uh, 252 on day one, 159 day two, 411 overall. Josh Richards, come on up, buddy. Well done, Josh. It's, um, I guess when you're not busy working and four-wheel driving and whatnot, there's, uh, there's a little bit of fishing involved still. Thank you. So you haven't lost your touch, mate. Um, no, I haven't. I think we first came across you probably somewhere through the old SBS days. Yep. And it. um, it's been great to see you sort of transition over with some of the Hobie rounds. Um, what did, did the damage for you this weekend? What was the most consistent lure for you? I'd uh, thrown plastic up against the, uh, the deeper wall. Yep. Yeah, OK. Oh, Just plastics, plastics and more plastics. Yeah, I didn't catch another fish on anything else. They were the ones all yeah. weekend. Mate, it's, um, it's great to have you back. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you at Camden Haven or BEM. I'll be everyone, hopefully. All right, mate. Good on you. Well done. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Josh. Great to have you here, mate. All right. Uh, seventh place from Victoria. 275 day one, 140 day two. Dennis Villamore. Here he is. Well done, mate. Well done, big guy. <laughs> it was really just a ploy to have another 15 people say happy birthday to you, Dale. <laughs> right, so, um, Thank you, sir. Crabs, crabs and more crabs? No, actually, um, you changed it one today. crab yep. yesterday, uh, one on the um, uh, D Chubby yes. and one on the Vibe the Eco Gear uh, VX35. There you Today, go. all in the chubbies. All on the chubbies. Yeah. Well, mate, it's, um, it's interesting. Sometimes you think you've learnt something out of day one and then you still get out of the water. You get to rinse and repeat and then you get two hours into the session, no fish, and you realise you've got to change it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you have to change it early or did it sort of come as a late change and you got your fish? Um, no, I caught my two fish, my first fish around 7, 10. Wow, and then perfect. the next fish went around after 10 minutes of that. Yep. And then it makes it a long day after that's that, it. doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> that's <a> grind. <laughs> Mate, great results, seventh place. There's a couple of dollars and a sensational pack there from Daiwa and all of our sponsors. So, uh, mate, enjoy, please. Thank you. Man. Well done. Good on you, Dennis. Great work, mate. All right. Now, I'm sure this next angler is going to be a very popular one. In sixth place from Victoria and none other than Marlo. 223 on day one, 228 day two, 451 overall is Harry Young. Well done, mate. So first Hobie event, Harry, yep. and uh, how much of that is going to go back today for the rental of the kayak? Oh, not sure yet. Not much. Probably none. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, um, how long have you been, have you been on kayaks much with Dave, or is it more of a boating thing here for you? No, nah, more of a boating thing, it's yep. the first time I've been out in the kayak. So how did he encourage you to get along and do this? Oh, he just asked me and I was keen. Said, rightio, let's go yep. and do it. Um, are we likely to maybe be able to back you up and get you up to Ben River? Yeah, yep. yeah. I hope so, to. mate. That'd be really great. Um, six places that it's more than going to cover your entry and some. It'll cover your entry for Ben. Yep. Um, a great pack there from the team at Daiwa and the rest of our sponsors. Well done. Thank you. Good on you. Great result, mate. Always good to see local people supporting the event, so um, sensational, Harry. All right. Fifth place, 239 day one, 237 day two, 476 overall. The man in the moment, Joel Crosby. Woo! Now, um, there's been many a threat of uh, a particular rendition of some music. Is I don't know that today needs to be, unless you want to belt one out for happy birthday. There's a, there's a thought. I hey? actually belted a couple of bars out on the water. To is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. did, it, did we get that on camera? <laughs> Yeah, I think we might. Oh my goodness. That yeah, might be our number yeah. one ranking video then. No, it's not pretty. 
Crozza, um, look, you've, you've been around with us for a lot of years early on. Again, a little bit of a break. You've got life and family and all sorts of stuff get, get happening. Um, great to have you back. You, you really did a handy job through the back end of the last series. Got yourself off to the AC. I think you're going to try and get to as many rounds as possible this year. Yep. Um, you know, that world's opportunity, the AC opportunity, does knowing that the ACs at Cuda kind of give you a little bit of confidence and a little bit of drive to... 100%, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, it's a Victorian round. Yep. Cuda's you know, could offer you a bit of everything. It really does. It's so, a, yeah. a sensational fishery. So, but it's, um, you've got a couple of bucks in your pocket there. That should certainly go somewhere to uh, paying it forward. And, uh, mate, I no doubt that what's in that pack is going to be well used. Thanks, mate. And thank you to you and the team as well. Always no, cracking a tournament with you guys. We so, appreciate yeah, it, mate. We fun. really do. Good on you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Joel. Cheers, mate. What else have you got? All right, uh, our next angler up, uh, another Victorian. They are well and truly stacked inside our top ten. Two three seven for you, day one, Prikey. Two four four, day two, four eight one overall. Uh, just ten grams behind third place, Stephen Prike. It's um, consistency, consistency, and more consistency is what we've seen from you over the last probably ten years. Um, it's really great to see anglers that continue to sort of fine-tune their craft. I guess, did you did you have a pre-fish here before coming into Marlow? Yeah, before the band, Dad and me shot up and um, yep. checked it out. And pretty much everything we found then was useless this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's um, and I guess that's why they call it fishing, not catching. It's a, it's an old phrase, but it's a very very true one. And I guess that adaptability on the water. I think it's as like any sport. The more time you spend on the water, the better you'll get at your, your craft and your technique. So um, you've obviously put that to work today to get inside. Uh, I guess a fourth position in a field of the best part of a hundred anglers is no mean feat. Um, well done, and look forward to seeing you at plenty more rounds this year. All right, thank you. Good on you, Prikey. Well done, mate. Rightio. Now this. Next angler coming up into third place. I would dare say that we're going to hear as good a cheer as if he had won it. Um, mate, you're an absolute stalwart of the series. You're obviously one of our key dealers as part of the Hobie Network. Uh, 3.07 .7 yesterday, 175 today, 482 overall. James Kilpatrick. Come on up, Jimmy. Right, so, um, the effort, the hours, the work and the commitment that you put into all things Hobie is just amazing. Um, obviously, uh, as the owner-operator of Hunter Water Sports, um, I'm really pleased for you, mate. This is a, this I'm is pleased a, for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really, really great result. Um, We've known each other now probably across the last, I don't know, kind of, kind of put a number on it, over 10 12, years. 12? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess both as dealers, the, the time and effort that goes into Hobie and I guess running your own business is just enormous. I mean, there's probably not an angler that's here that you haven't had some sort of involvement with yeah. um, over that period. And being able to sort of come along and do these things, you know, hone your craft. I mean, we know you love fishing. Um, I'm just so pleased that you're going to have that to take home and put on the mantle or hang up in the shop probably yep. and uh, tell everyone about it for the next five years. Yep. No, thank you. Um, what else happened out there, mate? Um, what was your technique? What did it for you? Pretty much the hedgy technique. So I yeah, did see him throwing crankbaits in the lake. Yep. Um, all mine came off those mud flats or weed flats, whatever yep. down there. Couldn't see under that water. But, no, it was, uh, uh, it was chocolate mud. Except for one I got off a pole today. Which yeah, was, okay. Um, yeah, a bit different. But, um, yeah, just... Just cranking them, a little bit different to Hedigy, I guess. So yep. sort of ripping them to the bottom as much as sort of okay. leaving them sort of mid-water and shaking them. Yep. Um, yep. Well, mate, great results. Um, I'm glad that Hobie's actually giving you some money back instead of you giving <laughs> us money. So, um, look, there you go. Well done. No Thanks, worries. Kilpatrick. Thank you. Good on you, Jimmy. Well done, buddy. Rightio, we are getting to the pointy end of the stick. Another team, team member from HWS. 5.15 kilos overall. Only two anglers to make that feat uh, is none other than Dave Hedge. Well done, Hedgey. Mate, um, without... Uh, mate, how many years? I know that we had a, like a 10th anniversary hat thing that sort of came out there a little while ago, a couple of years back. Is it 13, 14 years of... Um, at least yeah, you're stretching my maths at this point of the day, but <laughs> I, I think the first year was 2009. It was, yeah. 
So um, you've been, here, been ever here ever since. since. Yeah, um, they just can't get rid of me. No, and I think that there was uh, that podcast that you were talking about, I think there was something in the background, you had an event maybe in China, was that like a 15,000? I think that was actually Corey's one from China. Ah, was it? Okay. Yeah, but I went there a couple of years earlier. Gotcha. Rightio. Yeah. Um, look, you've, you've had, is this one of the top results for you over that period? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I haven't uh, been up on the podium in quite a while, yep. but back in the early days I used to yeah. go, right? But then again, those early days too, you look at the number of anglers yes. in the field and hasn't it changed? It has. Even just the back then, if you got a bag both days, yep. you were in the top 10. Whereas yes. now yeah. you can get bags and you can be in 30th. Oh, 90th. <laughs> well, some, there some you go. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've heard about the hedgy technique. It seemingly worked across uh, a, a plethora of anglers. Um, well done, and I'm sure you've had a cracking weekend here with the team from HWSO. Yeah, definitely. Great to have you here, Hedgy. Well done. Thanks. Great result, mate. Nice work. All right, I've been uh, looking at this guy in the field, watching going through all of this. We have not been able to wipe the smile off his face. He has managed to reverse the two fish to three. He's had three fish on day one for 3.16 and in the lead. He's backed it up with 2.03 kilos today, 5.19 kilos overall with a 40 gram margin. Our winner for round one of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series of Series 14 is Tony Petty. It's, um, it's, uh, it's always nice to see you know, quality anglers leading the way. Um, there you go, hang on to that. <laughs> Mate, um, we started off yesterday and I guess we sort of got into the lake. Was it an early run? And then you knew kind of where you were going for the rest of the... No, nah, pre-fish was pretty bad. We kind of ruled the lake out. And we yeah. thought we'd just fish down here because we thought, oh, we'd get a bag easy enough and then yep. sneak up up there. But yesterday, the first two hours, it was salmon and tailor and not a brim to be seen. So just said, oh, well, let's go up there and we'll float around. If we get fish, we get fish. And So, so what time did you get into the lake? I don't know, like about half past nine, quarter ten. Yeah, OK. Mm. And I don't know that by that stage, Hedgie, whether he'd had mm. his fish being in the lake early or not, but you certainly came in. Did you manage to kind of whack him as soon as you got there? No, it took probably 20 minutes before I got my first fish, and then, yep. and then I had three in 20 minutes, upgraded in after half an hour. Yeah, I think there might have been another angler out there that commented on that and was, um, you know, <laughs> muttering something about you under his breath, actually, yeah. watching you catch them. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's a, a little bit of a, an in-joke running around with the team at Hurricane. Yes. Um, you, you've taken on personas, and uh, this sees you coming into the event as Batman. That's correct, yeah. And maintaining your Batman status. I am still Batman. Rightio. <laughs> and if <laughs> now I didn't, I didn't see as much from the Joker and the Riddler. No, hey, they need to lift their game a little bit. What are we bit. going to do with those other blokes down there? But Robin mm. is very consistent nonetheless. He's normally Batman. It's nice to be Batman for a time. And I'm sure you'll elaborate on, on where that sort of comes <laughs> from and what it means at, at another stage. But, mate, yeah. um, great to have you here. Great to see you take the win. Um, will we get to see you up at Camden Haven? I'm hoping to get there. Yep, over definitely at Ben. Definitely Ben. Yep, rightio. I might even sneak over to Nelson for that one. Rightio, that'd be really good. We'd love to see as much support as we can mm -hmm. for those East Coast anglers getting over to support the guys in SA. Yeah. It'd really mean a bunch to them. So, mate, um, a deserved winner. Well done. Um, nearly three grand in cash. Mm -hmm. There's a cracking new in-feet yeah. rod there from Daiwa and a hell of a prize pack to go with it. Um, you're in the good books when you get home, mate. Oh, let's hope so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. Thanks, well done. Good on you, mate. Rightio, ladies and gentlemen, um, we would like to get uh, one, two and three, if you guys are still here, just to hang around for a couple of photos and the like to make sure that we've got that, we will try and catch up with you guys afterwards for a bit of a chat. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here and thank you to each and every entrant this weekend. Um, and obviously also, Dale, thank you to the team at Daiwa. Um, we appreciate the support, no end. Thank you, guys. All right, mate, well done. All right, signing off from round one of series 14 of the Hobie Kite Fishing Series here at Marlow, Victoria. Over and out.